is about to get a life-saving boost from a new state-of-the-art water treatment plant in Provo. New specialist Dan Rascone is covering this story and joins us live from Utah County. Dan, this could really clean up the lake and make a big difference to the people who want to use it. Yeah, this could be huge here. You know, we're all familiar with Utah Lake and how bad the algae problem can get out there, preventing people from fishing or even recreating. Well, this new treatment plant will actually cut the algae bloom f uh, f food intake there by about 80%. This one is 48 inches. This one over here is 54. Showcasing a brand new water treatment plant that will come after the third bioreactor is built. May not seem exciting until you hear about what this $83 million state-of-the-art facility is about to do. Designed to process 21 million gallons a day. That's right. Millions of gallons of sewer water a day will one day go through Provo's new treatment plant and end up here. At Utah Lake, our state's largest freshwater lake, spanning about 150 acres. Problem is, this lake is also known for its algae problems. Water isn't cleaned up before it gets to Utah Lake. You end up with harmful algal blooms that really impact recreation. The new plant will cut the nutrients to that algae by about 80%. By removing them, you know, it's less food, if you will, for algae to grow out there and create these difficult, harmful conditions. This is a really great example of cleaning up um, wastewater. The plant is expected to be in full operation by March of next year. So when could we see a change in Utah Lake? It's not going to happen overnight, two or three years, for those, for those new nutrients to replace the water that's already there. Yeah, so it may be a little down the road, but they say it'll be worth the wait there. Now, this new treatment facility plant replacing the old one there that's been around since the 50s. Deanie, back to you. That is good news, Dan. Thank you.